Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some basic animation editing in Unreal Engine 4. Now, obviously, in Unreal Engine 5, there's a proper control rig and actually better animation editing. However, I'm not going over that today because Unreal Engine 5 is still in early access and isn't very well optimized at the moment. And even when it is, there will still be a lot of people using Unreal Engine 4. So I'm just been going over this basic thing today. So if I hit play, we can show you what we're going to fix. So I had to press 1, we have this animation here, which is dancing, but you can see it's facing the wrong direction, and the feet are levitating above the floor. So the animation is too high up, and it is facing the wrong direction, so it had to spin around to play it, and it will spin around again once it finishes. So we're going to be changing this, and fixing it up so it's perfectly on the floor, and also facing the correct direction. So without further ado, let's fix this animation. So what we're going to do, is we just need to open up the animation which we want to edit. So let's open it up here. Again, you see I have this dance here, facing the wrong direction and above the floor too much. And obviously you can edit this as much as you want and in many different ways that you want. But again, I'm just going over the basics today. So what we're going to do is drag the timeline all the way back to the beginning like so. Then we're going to select our root bone. If you don't have a root bone, just select the top one at the skeleton tree. So when you move it, it moves everything like so. And what I'm going to do is because it's facing the wrong direction, I'm just going to rotate it on the Z to be facing the correct direction like so. So I spun it all the way around and now it's facing the proper way. So if it was facing right like so, you just rotate it to face properly again like that. And again, you'll also notice that it is above the ground too much. So what we're going to do is the same way we just rotated it like so, we're now also just going to move it. So we can move it down like that. I'm not entirely sure where the floor is. It might be the same floor as this. So what we can do is we can just move it and then test it out and then make any adjustments if we need to. So what I've done there is I've put minus 20 on the Z pretty much. So if I just change it to minus 20, that's what I have. So again, let's have a look to see if this looks any better. So what we've done is we've rotated and moved it. So now it's in the correct position, both rotation and location wise. However, that isn't all we need to do. Because if we were to press play, you'll see that it is working. However, this hasn't saved the animation to work in game. As soon as we close this, it will just reset. So what we need to do is make sure that we have the root selected again, or just the bone in which you edited then press key up the top and press apply like so. And what that has done now is it's actually applied the changes we just made to this animation into the mesh and the skeleton perfectly. So if we just save this, we can now close, hit play and test this out to see if it looks any better. So if we press one, you can see it is facing the correct direction. However, it is too low in the floor, so we've sunk down a little bit. And I had a feeling it would be a little bit too low, but again, that's why we do it. We just check and then move it about to have a look again. So what we can do is move it up a bit instead. So let's say to there and see if that one's any better. In actual fact, I think we can just minimize this slightly like so and then drag in the animation and we might be able to see it moving. Although I don't think we can because we do have to save it. So we can move it up like so. And then again, press key and apply. And then once this has applied, we will look again to see if this is any better. Again, this is just the basic premise of it. You just rotate it, you just move it, but always make sure that you're doing it on the root bone and you're pressing key and apply here so it actually does save it. And then you can just check to see what this looks like. So if we were to hit play, press one, you can see that looks a lot better. It's now facing the correct direction again and the feet are a lot better on the floor. I think they could maybe go a little bit higher once again. So let's just do this. In fact, I think what it is is the ball there is actually where it should be. So that is the base of the animation, I believe. So let's press save, key and apply. Now the reason why I'm not too sure is because it does change from animation to animation, different mesh and skeleton and all that good stuff. So again, you can't just copy exactly what I have done. You will need to change it so it does work perfectly for your specific character and animation and mesh, skeleton, all that good stuff. So let's hit play again and you can see Pressing one, that looks a lot, lot better. The feet are pretty much perfectly on the floor. It's facing the correct direction and all the good stuff. We have fixed our animation by just doing this basic editing. So again, we've changed the rotation of it and also the height of the animation. So this works for anything which you want to do. So a lot of the times if you retarget an animation, which is what I did, this was originally a mix mode animation on a mix mode character. Again, a lot of the times it might be facing the wrong direction like this one was, and it'll be a little bit too high like it was as well. So what we've done is we've just fixed it so it now works perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video which we've done everything we want to do. Again I've just gone over it but we've just fixed our animation by doing some basic editing of the rotation and location and you can obviously do scale as well if you wanted and you can do different bones it doesn't just have to be the root so it doesn't just have to be the whole thing. If I wanted to I could even just rotate the head or the arm or something like that. So let's select the spine what I could maybe do 
is just move it so it's facing back a bit. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but we can do. So if we press key and apply, with the spine still selected, this will now have also just changed that. So again, you can really get into as much detail as you want with just this basic animating. But again, make sure you press key and apply to get it working. So now if we press one, you can see his back is now facing backwards a bit like so. Again, not entirely sure why you'd want to do that, but it is possible if you wanted to. So you can really just get as in-depth as you want to in order to change this around to get it working perfectly for you. So again, maybe you just want the same animation three times with it being slightly different each time, you can do that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.